The next step towards full control is proactive risk planning, provisioning and determining and optimising your effective tax rate. At this stage, reliable financial information fed into your automated software can help visualise ways to optimise your approach to tax provisioning and its impact on effective tax rate. For example, Procter & Gamble has obtained over 17 advanced pricing agreements by providing detailed, financially backed information, helping them reduce their tax provisioning from 4 billion US dollars to just 500 million allowing them to improve the quality of their earnings. This information can also help identify any mismatches that may still exist. For example, if there's a difference between reported effective tax rate and a rate based on value chain analysis. This will not only help your company build a robust defense in case of a dispute, but will also help achieve process optimization. Considering and classifying areas of impact as high, medium or low risk means you can use low risk areas to optimise the effective tax rate in a BEPS proof manner. This is essential. If there are misalignments due to anything high risk, it will inevitably place your company in the middle of a dispute. Take the case of Amazon. Amazon's decision to set up a Luxembourg hub for Europe to attract the lowest VAT rate was followed by challenges on that model by various stakeholders. To prevent your company following the path of Amazon, consider Have you run all possible risk scenarios and their impact on your financials? Do you know how to explain the existence of stateless entities in your company and the allocation of income to them? Have you identified mismatches between country-by-country country reporting and local tax returns? If not, a software-based outlier analysis is key to bringing you a step closer to being fully in control.